Now, when it comes to leveling up, earning that XP, chasing that max level, new players are seemingly going about it all wrong. Let me explain. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So I have seen this tons already with Diablo 4, and that is people chasing XP farms. People chasing the fastest way to level up in this game, which I guess is fine. I myself have pulled out a couple of XP farms, but in reality, guys, there's only one proper way of going about this, and that is completing the game's campaign first. I mean, yes, for sure. Using the also popular dungeon reset farm to earn levels and armor is a great, great method in doing what it says on the tin. It works a treat. But in reality, doing this before completing the main story isn't doing anything for you besides wasting your time if you plan on getting the most out of Diablo 4. And let me explain why. There becomes a time, and this will happen eventually when your build is the most important part about your playthrough in Diablo 4. But in making the most out of your build, you need to be able to get those sacred and unique items, which are both more powerful than legendary items. And these guys only drop in that world tier 3, they will not drop in world tier 1 or 2. The thing is, world tier 3 only unlocks upon you completing the game's campaign. You also in world tier 3 find nightmare sigils to unlock nightmare dungeons for even more powerful loot. Again, you can't find these in world tier 1 or 2. So if you're going to play this game the way it's intended to be played, if I were you, I wouldn't waste my time in using any XP farms until you have completed the game's story, the main campaign. I mean for sure, use them if you want a couple of levels or if you're chasing any specific item. But remember, there's an absolute massive chance that the gear you're using right now if you're on your first playthrough will eventually be scrapped or sold anyway. So yes guys, the best way in going about earning XP and leveling is post campaign completion when things in Diablo 4 really start to get serious and that also great end game starts. Now don't get it twisted, you play this game the way you want to play it. I'm just giving you guys my guidance, I'm giving you guys my advice on how you should be if in reality you plan on making the most out of this amazing game. Diablo 4 isn't meant to be completed within a day or so, it's meant to be played over months and months, hence why it's a live service game. You rush in to get max level before you complete in the main uh, campaign story is a pretty pointless one because you're, you, you're gonna complete you're gonna get highest level you can anyway via just playing the campaign the amount of xp you earn via playing the campaign is amazing so you may as well just play the first campaign the main campaign within your first playthrough and level up that way and also unlock world tier 3 switching straight to world tier 3 and playing the game on this there and forward that's the way it makes sense to me anyway but hey, I'm just giving you guys my opinion on the way you should be playing this game if you plan on making the most out of it. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.